Tony. Um, and I do want to, in uh, speaking to part two of the Immigration Amendment Bill, speak to uh, the issue about the form that's actually in the schedule that's referred to in part two, because um, there is now a new form in this country, and how good do we feel about this as New Zealanders, that they have had to create a new form, it's called Form 5 in this legislation, and it's the, the title of this new piece of bureaucracy that we should all feel so proud about in New Zealand is called Warrant of Commitment Brackets Mass Arrival Warrant. Well, what a fabulous new form that is for New Zealand to have, and what a fabulous new form that is for New Zealand's re international reputation to have a new form that, um, that uh, you piece of bureaucracy that can be filled out to, to issue a warrant about mass arrivals. And I note that in this new form, it's quite hard to describe to the public because it's in front of us in writing, but it actually, um, the question, it actually starts off talking about that the form is to every constable, and it names the constable, um, and to managers. And then it says that it's going to be uh, that the form's going to go to people in charge of specified premises. But the next part's the part that really interests me, because it says that then, then they're going to be required to put the names down of the people who are going to be detained. The names. Now remember that when we started out talking about, or when the government first proposed this piece of legislation, it was going to be a mass arrival was going to be 500 people. So there was going to be 500 people's names written on this form before it could actually even be lodged. But then they decided, oh no, not 500, that's not a mass arrival, it's only 30. But by the time we get down to this form that's actually in the schedule attached to part two, Mr Chair, we know that they only have to come up with more than 10 names before this particular form can be validated. More than 10 forms. And it reminds me of a Get Smart skit. I don't know if people remember Get Smart, but they used to have this ongoing gag where, where Maxwell Smart, when he was cornered, would say, would you believe the entire building is surrounded by the FBI? And the, of course the baddies would go, no, nah, don't believe that. And he'd go, well, would you believe that the, the Boy Scouts have got the building surrounded? They'd go, no, nah, don't believe that. Would you believe my grandmother's outside? No, nah, don't believe that. Well, that's what's happened with this bill. They started out with a big, scary concept of 500 people. We're going to come with this mass arrival and we're going to have 500 names on this form in Schedule 1 under Part 2. 500 names they were going to have to come up with before they could issue this form. And what's it, what's it scaled down to? Apparently, this big, scary mass arrival is going to be 10 or more people. Or is it more than 10, I think? More than 10. I'm, I'm exaggerating, as I'm prone to do. It's actually um, 11 people, people's names that they have to have down here. So sorry for that, um, that gross exaggeration. But the point that I'm trying to make, Mr Chair, is that we have got a, a new form in our, 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 in our bureaucracy now. That's what they're creating. Just more bureaucratic form filling out. They're going to have to track down 11 people whose names are going to have to go on this form before it can actually fit the definition under the Act, and then they're going to have to fill out all the rest of this form in order to do what? In order to protect our shores from John Key's ghost ships, basically. That's what it's all about. It's all about ghost ships as a distraction from all of the scandals that this government has been involved in. And isn't it surprising, the timing of, of debating part two today? They've got another scandal on their hands, and hello, hello, what pops up on the order paper again? But part two of the Immigration Amendment Bill, the, the, the thing that they've been using since last Christmas to distract from any political problem that they have. But I'll be very interested to know, um, in one or two years' time, whether this form has ever seen the light of day. Has creating this form and this schedule been a complete and utter waste of time? Will it ever be used, Minister? Is there any, 
any, um, any situation that the Minister can see where this form is actually going to be filled out with those 11 names. Honourable David Cunliffe. Uh, Mr Chairman, I do wish to uh, begin by responding to...